Hi, this is Mike, Falco's Flits, I'm part-time reseller based in Northwest England. This is part two of the video that I did while I was self-isolating a couple of weeks ago. It's going to be more of the same. If you've not seen the first part, go watch the first part first, and then come back and watch this afterwards. Right, let's go. Yeah, just to show the realities of reselling. This is something I bought quite a few months back now. I've had it to one side. And the idea was to get it on a bit sooner in time for Christmas, but I'm, getting it. I'm going to get it on this week. Well, we're going to get on today, hopefully. Um, so I'm just giving it a clean up. It's really dirty. It was when I bought it. It's probably got a little bit more dust on it since uh, since then as well. Um, it's, it's a nice toy. And uh, there's this part and there's part over here. This doesn't work. This is, this takes batteries and it's supposed to, I think, move along. But it doesn't, doesn't work. But this one does, press the buttons, and it lights up. Yeah, so I'm just giving it a good clean. And then I'm going to stop for some lunch. I didn't do much filming yesterday because I, was, I felt pretty, pretty bad, to be honest, in the afternoon. So I really didn't get much done yesterday. And, you know, I am still working from home. This is actually my lunch break right now. So in my lunch break, and, you know, Occasionally through the day when I get a bit of spare time, I'm doing a bit of eBay stuff. So yeah, I, th I don't think the prices on these are massive. I did pay up for these. I think I paid 20 quid for the lot. But as I've said in previous videos, some of the little parts of this are worth good money. Like this guy. This guy alone is worth... Good money, not, not looked at the solds recently, but I think it was about 20, 25 was it? That's probably high end to be honest, but it is in really good condition. And uh, there's this little robot guy as well. Um, he goes for a little bit, and then you've got figures as well, they go for a little bit. So I could split it all up and probably make a little bit more, but I'm not really wanting to do that. I'm gonna stick it all together, one big lot, and you know, aim high, but I want it to go this Christmas, I don't wanna, have it, you know, coming into the new year. I'm gonna price it, accept best offers like I, I do on everything. And as soon as a half decent offer comes in, I'm gonna just let it go. Yeah, so I'll put some photos on the screen now of it listed or if it's sold, I will mention that now as well. And next is these, got these recently from a car boot sale. They were, I think I got them two for a fiver. I think she wanted three quid each, said two for a fiver, she said, yeah. 35 pounds plus postage uh, they were pretty good these i really like them good quality really good quality disney star wars mugs and um, nice little profit uh, this one here i think i undersold this i could have got more for this one definitely uh, it was a disney brito mickey mouse figurine i featured this in a video it was a charity shop video and i only paid a pound so i can't really complain too much i couldn't find it out there and that's because I think it was pretty rare to the point where I probably could have got double what I actually got for it. So I put it up at $29.99 plus postage. It got bought fairly quickly. And I thought, oh, somebody's bought it quick. I had a bit more of a look. Again, I couldn't find it, but I did then find a couple that were very similar for 50 or 60 quid that had sold. So, yeah, I don't know. I st again, I can't complain too much. I paid a pound, so it's still you know, a good profit. I really like these. I can't really remember where I bought these from. Pretty sure it was a charity shop. Couldn't tell you which one or when. Had them a while, though. Did put the price up high because the quality was really good. They were made in Belgium. They were... I don't know how much they were each, but it wasn't a lot. It really wasn't. Uh, next to some trolls, these were from a car boot sale. Well, I got a load from a car boot sale. I got a load from my sister who didn't want them. We had a clear out and uh, got 26 plus three pounds postage on these. So hard to say how much money I had into them, but very little to nothing, depending on where they actually came from. Uh, this Disney mug was pretty good. 39.99 plus postage. And I think this is from a charity shop for four pounds, if I remember rightly. It was definitely a you know a higher kind of amount that I paid for it. Four pounds, thirty nine ninety nine plus postage. This is a particularly good one. They don't all go for this kind of money. Not entirely sure why this particular one was worth so much, but it was. Other people had sold them for good money as well. 
And the first lot of spoons. I think I might have sold a single spoon to somebody as well. But this lot of spoons went for £18 plus postage. Yeah, the pe person who bought these actually was a bit disappointing because they thought they were all going to be solid silver. Well, £18 plus postage, they're obviously not going to be solid silver. Doesn't say they're solid silver. Very clearly says silver plated both in the title and the description. He actually left me a feedback where he had said that he was disappointed that they weren't uh, solid silver, but that he'll keep them anyway because he likes them. Uh, I don't usually reply back to feedbacks and especially not positives, but I did on this one. I just wanted anybody who's reading my feedback to know that I had been honest and he just had misread it, obviously. I'm just going to show you something now that came out of a bin. Now it is missing parts, but it is working. So I've effectively paid nothing for it. I'm still going to sell it. I'm going to obviously declare that there's some parts missing. This is one way I got it um, from a charity shop bin. I went in and I said, is it okay if I take it? And they said, yeah, I'll show it to you now. Actually, there's only like one tiny piece missing. We thought there was more missing than that. But there's literally just one little stand piece. I mean, it still works, as you can see. This was free from the bin. Please. So it's a few hours later now. Cleaned all this up as best as I can. It's not perfect, but... They're pretty good you know most of the stickers are still there uh, you know these kind of accessory parts are in really good condition like these and this the figures are all right a little bit of wear to them um yeah there's a few missing parts i think there's probably supposed to be something in there something in there this doesn't move along like it's supposed to but this i've got a battery for it and it is fine it's working perfectly fine as i will show If you saw a recent video, you saw that I got a load of Now albums. The most expensive ones I am ready to list. In fact, they're drafted. Everything is good. I just wanted to test them on the CD player first, make sure that they are working. And uh, obviously, I've not gone through every single song, but I've chosen a few at random when my partner did it, and uh, they're okay. And we've done the same with all these ones as well. But just down here, all these. Um, Probably one big lot, I think. One big lot. I'm going to pick a... Maybe go through a few of them and just see if there's individual value in any of them. But I don't think there is. So it'll be one big lot. Um, these, my partner's gone. Uh, as I said, I have COVID, but my partner doesn't. She's had a PCR test, lateral flow. She's still negative today. Uh, she had a PCR test. Uh, results come back yesterday. Negative. So she is negative. So she is able to go out and you know visit places um and she nipped got me some batteries and got a few things to the charity shop she got those glasses which i've not seen these red ones for ages two pounds fifty for a set of six um not sure how much to go for at the moment but maybe coming into christmas 2025 a bit more possibly and then this um not the best purchase ever she said that herself um it's missing some cups and it's missing the ladle and it was five pounds fifty so we might get 20 quid out of it maybe a little bit more with it being like party season just around the corner a land rover pencil sharpener which i'll quickly show you you might not have seen this this was actually my brother's from when he was a kid my uncle used to work for land rover and i'm guessing that's how we got this and there it is so it's like a wheel nut Good condition Land Rover Brandon on there and yeah it's very unique can't say I've ever seen anything like this before there's none for sale or sold on eBay so I don't know I'll probably aim high maybe a car enthusiast will buy it coming into Christmas it's probably one of those like free gifts that you get when you buy a car or some kind of promotional thing or maybe it was just like a staff only type of deal 
not really sure. Yeah, so I'm just listing this, and I think we're losing the plot. Well, I'm losing the plot. I've just found these. I, I thought these were missing. Well, in fact, me and my partner, we both thought they were missing, but we found, I found them, like, kind of underneath the bowl. Underneath this bowl. Or was it in the bowl? I don't even know what, what's happening there. And then we're like, oh, well, the ladle's move missing there, right? The ladle here on the packaging. We're like, oh, the ladle's still missing. So I've just gone and taken all the photographs to then look back in the box. I know it seems obvious now, right? But I, it was like that. I just thought it was a bit of brown paper in there. The goddamn ladle is here. So uh, in the shed, I've not brought you in here for quite some time. Uh, it was a bit of a mess. Not as bad as it has been recently, I'll tell you. At least I can walk in. There's a bit of a route down the middle now I can walk in. And uh, this is just how the setup is. I'll give you a very quick look at it. Boxes up here. Uh, still board games that are not listed yet are here. Really need to get these on now. We're getting close to Christmas. I have been listed board games like crazy. I just have a lot of them. Um, but that's all I've got. That's everything I've got. Um, plus the three question of sport, the old ones, the 80s ones, which are upstairs. Um, so I still need to get them listed as well. Uh, but everything you can see on these shelves is listed. Everything. Imagine X. I had a load of Imagine X if you saw. And sorry if it's a bit dark. I'm going to try and. Hopefully that's a little bit better. So I had a load of Imagine X. You might have seen me pick some of it up in a previous video. I got a load from a car boot sale all in one go. And then I got a bit from here and a bit from there. And uh, various prices, various amounts um, into each set. But most of them are now sold. All I've got left is that one. That one. And that one. Just three sets. Oh no, there's one there as well. Four sets. So I've sold more than half of what I had. And these are pretty good sets. I could, should probably put a little bit of a uh, sale on them now. Get them cleared before Christmas. And uh, this big twirly woo and boat set. Definitely want that gone. It's really windy outside, so I'm sorry if you can't hear me fantastically. But anyway, down here, these, as you can see, there's a few gaps going on. A few gaps in my shelves. It's the first time for a while. Uh, the, all the ceramics, all the like cookie jars, bread bins, all that kind of stuff has been doing well. Uh, mugs have been doing quite well. And uh, this was all piled high with stuff to get listed. As you can see, it's now looking well, a lot better. Still a load of stuff, but a lot better than it was. Been getting through loads. This box here is full of stuff that's going to be getting photographed today. Uh, I've got some Sylvalian families down here, the ones I picked up recently, they are going to get photographed soon as well. I've been concentrating on all the player bill that I had. Um, most of that is either now listed or drafted, ready to be listed. So that's good. All the player bill sorted. I had two massive big bags full in here of that stuff. So I'll tell you about a few more sales. We've got this one, Command & Conquer, the collection. This is from a car boot sale. I pay... what did I pay? 30 25 or something for a load of big box pc games most of them were star trek um it was part of the video where i did three car boot sales over a bank holiday weekend it was that one um so this one sold for uh 39.99 plus postage so that is all my money back plus a little profit and next is a pickup that i got from a charity shop it was three or four pounds it was a monopoly it was an Australian release by uh, Toll Toys, which um, is from the 1960s. I'm pretty sure it was still the British like classic Monopoly. It was just a, like a different looking box, a different release. I'll put it on the screen so you can see it. Um, and inside it was sealed, still sealed all the stuff inside. The box was not, you know, a perfect condition. I think I still sold it as used but um, all the stuff inside was still like shrink wrapped in its original plastic. 
So that went for 54.99 plus postage and that went over to, I think it went back to Australia. Yes, it did. Went over to Australia and not had feedback, but it was delivered a good few weeks ago now. So all is, uh, all is well with that one. Uh, this is quite an interesting one, not a massive profit. I paid, I think three or four pounds for these from a charity shop. Don't think I featured these in the video. Uh, it's just some glasses, you know, Rayware brand, um, kind of, I was thinking Christmas, somebody had them at Christmas, but somebody bought them a few weeks ago for 19 99 plus postage. But the person who bought it was actually like um, an ex-naval uh, officer. Um, he, he told me a lot of information about like where he, you know, where he's worked and, um, you know, why he kind of collects these glasses and stuff. So he's like, if you ever see any more, let me know. So there must be a little bit of a collector's market for these. And very quickly, there was this La Crusade tray. It was five pounds from the charity shop. I bought it on like a Wednesday and then it sold by the Friday for £72.99 plus postage. So I thought I'd mention that. I've mentioned it previously, but that's that was a pretty good sale, really. You know, good quick flip, £5 into 73 plus postage. Yes, take away the fees and everything, uh, but you're still left with, you know, a, a healthy profit, what, 50-ish, something like that. Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's so windy out there. Like, I'm not even... I'm not even joking, we've lost like a tile off our roof and it's just, I've parked my car further from my house just in case the bloody tiles come off and destroy my car, it's that kind of wind. Um, you know, my, all my garden furniture had all like a cover over them, the cover's gone and all the furniture's like halfway across the garden, it's heavy, well, fairly heavy furniture as well. Uh, we saw the space... 1999 dinky toy the eagle freighter that went for 56.99 plus postage that's the one where i paid what did i pay 20p i think it was 20p from a charity shop for it it was in a big um like tote full of like random toys i thought it looked interesting i picked it out and turned out it was worth some good good money uh, this is quite good it was a vintage hornsea pottery gourmet 66 vinegar jar and this is quite an early hornsea item i believe um i you know i do a lot of hornsea but i'm not like a massive like super fan or extremely knowledgeable about the stuff but i can spot one from a mile now I had lots of interest as soon as i put it up and it went for 31.99 plus postage and i bought this from a car boot sale for i think it was 20p it might have been 50 it was certainly no more than that it was very cheap and uh, it was full of like salt that had probably been there for like 50 years or something but um cleaned up nicely and it was all right good sale good little profit on that yeah i was talking about the playmobil before here are most of the sets few are still downstairs but it's just a good variety of all sorts really uh, mostly pirates though and knights more than anything else also got a couple of slot cars here that turtles uh, slot car racing thing that i got these fit on that track and work on that track as well as uh, so i tested them out but underneath here uh, is, this one is missing one of the contact pieces there uh, so I just took one off the the other ones I got the turtles ones tested it on this works fine so I've just declared that in the listing I can still get about 20 quid for these plus postage even in this condition so that is what I'm going to do I didn't mean to drop that there <laughs> I do have some respect especially for Mario and Luigi I don't want them to get damaged yeah these are just like from a bargain bucket a car boot sale I don't know how much I paid 50p a pound each something like that not a lot So just a quick look in here. Plush Mountain still exists. Uh, there's all the plushes that I got, which I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. If I'm going to sell them, I need to uh, get a move on with that. But definitely keeping one set for our kids, or most of a set for our kids. But anyway, this is what my shelves look like right now. Fairly organised. All the games up there, 
Jurassic Park one, that's pretty cool, that was mine when I was a kid. And yeah, we are got we've got a few gaps kind of forming. Um yeah, not really much to show you in here. So next we have these. This is like a little ceramic Christmas village, which I got for five pounds from a charity shop a good few months ago. And they went for 55 pounds plus postage. They went to somebody locally. They were really, really happy to get these. They said that they used to have the same set uh, back when they lived down south. They moved up north and they left them in the attic. They forgot about them. Um, so she was so happy. She said she'd been looking for these for years. So did come down a bit on price. I think I had them up at about 70. Um, did 55. And she came and collected them. Which was good. And uh, yeah, she was happy with them. She left me positive feedback. And this was a really good sale. And this is again another reason why you tell people that you're a reseller. Because people will uh, give you stuff. Or you know, when they come to sell stuff that they don't really want. They might come to you first. And that's what happened on this. This uh, guy at work. He didn't want these. He said they'd been a cupboard since the day he was giving them as a gift. And he had no interest in keeping them. And they were worth good money. Uh, five Nights at Freddy's Funko Pops. Uh, 106, 107, 108 and 109. And he was like, oh, you know, they're only going to be worth a few quid, aren't they? I was like, you just don't know. You just don't know. And I had a look there in front of me. I was like, no, they're worth good money. Because he was going to like, he's going to be like, oh, just give us 50p each. It's like 50p each. Are you kidding me? Like, I was like, the cheapest of the cheap Funko Pops are worth more than that. You know, these are brand new in the boxes. I was like, look, I'll show you how much I can potentially get. And when I sell them, I'll give you a nice amount. And he was just like, oh, I'll just give us, you know, a few quid each. Just like, he, he was happy like for five or whatever. Anyway, I'm not giving him anything yet, but these are sold. And um, I'm going to give him... I've not told him they've sold yet. I think what I'm going to do is stick the cash in a card, like a Christmas card, when I'm back at work, uh, which will be fairly soon. And uh, I'll give it to him like that. I'm going to like surprise him. Um, and be like, Because he, he, even though I was showing him, I was like, well, we don't know they're actually going to sell for that much. We can try and get that. Um, but anyway, I put them up and they sold like within a day. Within 24 hours, they sold. They had interest straight away. And, um, yeah, 119.99 plus postage. So, good profit on that. And he will be happy when I tell him. He will be very happy. The customers received the no positive feedback. But it was a couple of weeks back now. So, I'm sure we are okay on that. Oh, here's a bread bin. 39.99 plus postage. This is one I picked up for. I think it was £4 from the charity shop. I think so. And really good condition. Couple of little marks though. But um, the buyer actually wants to return this. I think he's not looked at the photographs and seen the damage or read the description and seen that I've mentioned it, even though it was only slight. Um, but this is another one. And I've had a few of these recently. I don't know about you guys. Where people are opening return cases and never sending the item back i had one recently where somebody bought something never sent it back then left me neutral feedback and claimed they had sent it but sent it back and ebay were like nope no they've not or at least they've not done it using our label um so the neutral feedback was removed i got the money back that was on hold for it i've sold a lot of like just bits bits of this bits of that stuff we've had around the house like old toys and stuff that we don't use anymore I don't want to go through all that kind of stuff, but there's been quite a few of those bits. Bulkier things, which I'm glad to get rid of. We had like this big wooden airport, which the kids haven't used for years. Um, stuff like that, loads of things like that, which is nice. Not loads of money in them, but nice to just see them go. Oh no, I'm on the doom slide. Doom slide, the doom slide. So this is a bit of a like random tangent, but I thought I'd put it in anyway. There's a Black Friday deal. It was five t-shirts for £15 from Zavi. And I was just really interested to see what you would get. And if there was any kind of reselling potential by doing this. I mean, for £3 a t-shirt, free delivery as well. You can't really go too far wrong. But, um, you know, I was hoping there'd be two or three in here that maybe I can keep for myself. But if not, they'll all get resold. Anyway, let's have a look what we've got, because I have no idea. 
I think it was labelled like a geek pack or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. What does that mean? Could mean anything, right? What's considered to be, you know, geek worthy, geeky, don't know. Anyway, let's have a look. Okay, we'll start with this. Okay, that's all right, I think. Nice jumper, wasn't really expecting like long sleeved like jumpers. I just thought this was gonna be like t-shirts, so happy with that. And it's Game of Thrones, I like Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, proper Game of Thrones branded, HBO. Yeah, that's the correct size, yeah. Not bad that. I mean, for 15 quid, you know, I suppose at the, t the height of the Game of Thrones, you might have spent 15 quid just on that, right? Not so much anymore, but yeah, after that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> we'll get to that one in a minute. That's uh, maybe cool, maybe not. We'll see. What's this one? Harley Quinn, Birds of Prey, like official merch, tags, obviously there's all new stuff, it's alright, yeah, you know, three quid a piece, we'll have that, three quid, will I keep it, I'm not sure on that one, maybe, oh, that's kind of cool, That's kind of cool. Must be like uh, Golden State Warrior, like logo there. Yeah, no, I like that. I mean, I love video games and I love basketball, right? And I love California. Never been there, but I've always wanted to go. Yeah, love that. I'll be keeping that one. Cool. It's all right. Two more. I'll leave that one for last. What's this? Huh? What? Just a random plain blue t shirt. I'm not being funny, but not really as described, that is it. Anyway, I'm still that, you know. Those ones are good, this one's not, but that's fine. Anyway, let's have a look at this one. This one is maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I just saw this face just like that, like peeking out at me. So it's like a pixelated type of um, Star Trek t-shirt. And luckily I like Star Trek and particularly the next generation because we got Picard there. Oh is, that, oh, is that supposed to be Christmassy? Is it Christmassy? Make it so, make it so, yes, of course. <laughs> make it so, make it so. Yeah. No, that's cool. No, I'm quite happy with that one. Yeah, so, four out of five, right, is not bad. Um, I probably won't keep the Harley Quinn one. Probably won't. And I'll probably look them all up and see if any of them are worth anything. If they are, I'll stick it on screen now. If I'm not putting anything on screen, then they're not really worth much. Um, but for 15 quid, free delivery, three pounds a go, you know, yeah, worthwhile, definitely. So let's have a look at some more solds. This one was from the charity shop. I paid 50 pounds for this, so paying up. Uh, it's the one where I, I got the chest set for 50 pounds. I found the chest board that was very similar, possibly from this set originally, possibly not, not really sure. Um, a little bit of damage to the board, tiny bit of damage to one, of, one or two of the figures. Um, but all in all, really, really good condition. From 1988 or 89, when the Narnia film, well, the Narnia BBC adaptation came out. Um, so I actually sent somebody an offer of 175. They didn't accept it, but they came back a couple of days later and paid 200. Then they kind of complained that 
why am I charging 200 when you sent me 175 pound offer? So it was one of them. And I thought it might have been, a, you know, a bit of a troublesome one, but actually it was okay. They just, they'd obviously missed the offer. So I refunded them back 25 quid. So 175 is what I got for it in the end. Obviously 50 pound buy-in after fees, uh, postage on top as well. Um, we still making what? Over a hundred, right? Don't know the exact amount, but you know, over a hundred pounds. I got another model playing kit that sold, paid a pound for this from a charity shop. This sold for 37 pounds plus postage. This is one of the kind of higher end ones. Pretty good, this one. This next one is kind of an error on my part, but there's not really much I could have done. Now I'll tell you and you know, judge for yourself, but Hot Wheels monster trucks. I bought a load from the car boot sale. I've re only recently got round to cleaning them all. They were all quite dirty and listing them. I've now listed them all and I went through every single one. I searched every name. I looked at the solds. I looked at what's selling and I, you know, then therefore determined what was worth selling singly, what was worth putting into bundles. That's what I did. And I missed one and I missed the worst possible one I could have missed. I say I missed one, I didn't miss it. I still searched it. I couldn't find anything on it. So I just presumed it was another kind of, because there were a couple like that where I couldn't really find any any sold or any listed, um, but, or maybe there was one or two and they, they hadn't gone for a lot. But yeah, this one, and I'm gonna tell you guys because you need to know to look out for it. It's a yellow monster truck that's called Full Bore. Now, the thing about this is apparently, and somebody actually kindly messaged me, but it was too late, I'd already sold them, to say that because it has a blue roll cage, and this particular car with a blue roll cage is one of the rarest Hot Wheels out there. That's what he told me. His name was like Monster Trucks something or other. He was over in the USA. So it seems like he knew what he was talking about. Um, I, yeah, I sold five for 25 quid, five quid each. And this Monster Truck is worth, he says at least $80.00. But if it's in good condition, and it was in good condition, not fantastic condition. They were all played with, all played with conditions. But the, if you've got one in, in like immaculate condition, they can go up, for, up to $300. So he said it was one of the rarest ones out there. But how would I know this? I did my best to check it. But the thing is, this particular truck, but with a different color roll cage, is not worth nearly as much. How would you, how would I ever know that? unless I was some kind of expert in the field. Yeah, so by selling a variety of things like I do, you, I mean, you can do your research. I know my research enough that I know that some of these are worth good money. I knew that some of the wrestling ones are worth good money, which is what the guy who messaged me on eBay said as well. He said, have you got any wrestling ones? Um, I already knew that. And I know some of the um, the bull ones, what's he called? Uh, I can't think, Toro Loco or something. The, the bull one, some of them, not all of them, because they're quite a common one, but some of them can be worth good money. Um, and there's a few others to look out for as well. But I'd never heard of this one, full bore. And this was amongst about, I don't know, 50 of them. So I'm going for each one. And, and this happens. It just happens. It's as simple as that. Yes, you know, you feel like a bit of an idiot, to be honest, like, especially when I've actually gone to the trouble to research every single one, but you can only go so far. Like if I spent, if I spent like loads of time on every single one, you know, time is money. You can't sit there and research everything down to the last kind of, you know, you, at some point you have to just kind of do your best and keep it going, keep it rolling. Like, I'm going to find it hard now next time I get monster trucks to not, you know, sit there and do half an hour's research into each one. But can you imagine how long that would take when you've got 50 of them? It's a long time and you just can't do it. And there's been a lot more than what I'm telling you here that has sold, but I'm just picking a few out right now, kind of on a bit of a whim. Things that I, I, I either feel are a little bit interesting or some better sales amongst it as well. Uh, there's also quite a few retail arbitrage things here, which I'm not telling you about because they're still kind of ongoing. 
Um, I'm not going to tell everyone about the retail arbitrage stuff, otherwise, you know, potentially, I mean, not that many people watch me, but potentially, you know, everybody starts buying them up and it's not worthwhile anymore. I'm doing a lot more retail arbitrage than I used to. I still not like a crazy amount, but um, quite a few items. Some have worked out pretty, pretty good. Some, not so much. Maybe I'll do a bit of a video on it in the new year. I'll maybe explain, you know, the kind of things that I've, I've bought, my thinking behind it, the kind of money I'm making, and then the few where they've not quite kind of taken off. And uh, yeah, I think it'd make a decent enough video, standalone vi video to do that. So I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you very much for watching. I know it's a little bit different, uh, but you know, that's, that's about all I can do right now. Uh, but the good news is tomorrow I am allowed to go back out into the world. I'm back at work and I can't wait to get into like some charity shops, see if I can find some Christmassy bits because I've missed out on all the, you know, the shops were just getting the stuff in, like just putting their Christmas stuff out, like proper, you know, the proper Christmas stuff, the stuff they're saving, um, just, you know, coming into December and I've kind of missed like... I always find some good stuff in those first few days of uh, December. If you enjoyed this one, hit the like button. It really does help out. I've got a car boot sale video coming very, very soon. Uh, that is my last one of the season. So last one of the year. So in just a second, there's going to be a couple of videos on the screen. Why not hit one of them and continue watching? Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.